your decisions you won't find about through the normal means, like maybe a reporter or something you've had mm -hmm. before coming to you. Is that normal getting reporters coming to you saying there's a wee bit of a decision over in the 18th of Jermaine going over there? Yeah, I mean, we get notification of decisions uh, that are needed a lot of ways. Some of it comes from the players themselves in terms of requests. Uh, they have a, a walking score that goes around with them the whole time, so they've got access to a radio. And they're very, they're very aware that, one, they want to do the right thing, and two, the rules are very complicated. They, they have a good working knowledge of the basics. There's a lot of stuff that can happen on a golf course, which is a long way from basic. Yeah. So, you know, they ask. We have uh, rules incidents which get uh, sent to us by email from people who are watching our TV broadcasts. Yeah. Uh, we get notification from people who are on the rope line watching who think that they know the rule better than the professional. Uh, so they come to us and say, was this right? And, you know, most times it is. The pros got it, got it yeah. absolutely spot on. So there's a variety of ways that these things come to us. The point is, when it gets to us, we have to investigate all of them. You know, we can't afford to say, well, we're not, we're not going to investigate this. Yeah. Or, you know, we have to investigate all of them. A lot of them are wild goose chases, but you're right, we get notifications lots of different ways. Okay, okay. in your opinion, how important is your job? Uh, well, it's, it's one cog in a very big wheel. Um, it's, it's, uh, every sport needs to have a referee, an umpire, an arbiter of, of some sort. In golf, everything that happens doesn't usually happen in front of a referee, so for the game to move forward once there's a, a little bit of a problem, then the referee has to come in and sort it out and then, then everything can move on. So it's got an importance in that respect. But it's, um, it's a method of, of keeping the, the, the game on track and letting everything flow. What majors have you refereed out of them all? All of them, yeah. We, uh, I attend the Masters every year. Um, uh, we hope to get invited back next year, but you never know. You never take anything for granted. Uh, the US Open, um, the, uh, obviously the, uh, the Open Championship. We have a very strong relationship with the RNA and they ask us to go and help them there. And similarly, the PGA of America, who are our partners in the Ryder Cup. Um, uh, my colleague John Paramore and I go over for the US PGA every year. And then on top of that, we have the, um, the World Golf Championships, which JP and I split. So he goes to a couple of them and I go to a couple. And then um, the President's Cup. Uh, one year John will go. I I'm going at the back end of this year to the, the match in Ohio. Well, what's been the toughest decision you've had to make? The toughest? Um, well, the two, the two situations I had with Podrick were were um, not, not difficult rules-wise, but difficult to deal with because they both involved disqualifications, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but I think the hardest, it's always hard when you have to disqualify somebody. Um, I think the hardest one was a, a chap who uh, had just got his card at the qualifying school yeah. and he, his playing partners didn't think he'd got something right on the golf course. And, when we investigated it, we kind of agreed, so that led to a disqualification. Unfortunately, that was the final round, and it meant the difference between he was going to be playing within the tour and not, and that was quite difficult. Yeah, that would have been hard. Well, you could see, you know, the guy had put so much effort into six rounds of golf and probably four, five, six rounds of qualifying prior to that, and right at the very final hurdle, it all fell apart, and you know, that was tough to see. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Ross, thank you. Good luck and thanks for talking to me. Okay.